If I learned anything from my recently failed van trip down to Florida, it's that you won't get very far without a plan. So once I was back home and ready for another adventure, I promised myself I would plan things properly this time, while still leaving enough room for some spontaneity when the opportunity arises. This time, I'll be taking a tour of four different national parks surrounding the lower Appalachian mountain range, plus meeting up with some friends along the way and continuing my goal of visiting every national park in the country. finally did it. For the first time ever, I am leaving for a trip in the van, feeling totally ready for once. stopped on the New Jersey Turnpike because um, one of my like weather seal strips just started flapping in the wind so I'm gonna see if I can put it back in place for now. just arrived here in Shenandoah National Park. So I've stopped here on Skyline Drive just to take in the views. And um, also I'm hoping to get in a shorter hike on Dark Hollow Falls. Dark Hollow Falls is just a short distance up ahead. It's a nice short hike and hopefully it's not too bad going back up because it was all downhill to get here. Man's a legend. Pay him more. <laughs> I totally almost just stepped on this snake. Um, did not see it, thought it was an iPhone cable, and then I realized. Right now I am getting ready for my old rag hike, which should take me about like five or six hours, I think. Um, so it's about 5.30 in the morning right now, but we'll see what happens.
So I no longer need my headlamp. Um, I'm about a mile and a half in, I would say. And um, it's been pretty nice, a lot of twists and turns. Um, but the amount of fog around has me a little bit worried about the potential view at the top. Um, but I'll just have to see how it goes, I guess. even worried. Um, I just made it above the fog and this is what it looks like. <laughs> just going straight up these rocks now, so it's getting a little bit more intense. I was not expecting so many, like, scary rock um, scrambles, uh, especially because everything's wet, um, because it did start raining a little bit. Um, so uh, I think I've gotten through the most brutal part of all of that, and I'm real close to the top, so <sighs> just a little bit further to go. made it to the top. Um, that was actually pretty brutal, um, but the weather is nice up here and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it for a bit and then I will see you back at the van. <sighs> Being honest, I came very close to just not finishing that hike. Um, I was like, I can't do this, I have to turn back. Um, but uh, I did it, and I'm glad I did. I am so unbelievably sore right now, um, and uh, I'm just thankful that 
there was a site here at Big Meadows last night for me to stay in and I'm also grateful that I planned to do absolutely nothing today um, because I feel like I get hit by a truck and I'm gonna need all the strength I can get for backpacking tomorrow. But I also didn't want to do like nothing nothing um, and just stay here all day so I'm thinking of going on a short hike up the Hawksbill Summit Trail and it is the highest point in the park so I figure maybe it's worth seeing. saw this lone flower against the tree and I was like, wow, so majestic, so beautiful. This is somebody's hair clip. <laughs> wow, nature. Okay, I think I'm here. That wasn't too bad. So let's see the payoff is. very glad I did that hike despite being in immense pain. <laughs> um, they had these uh, fire lookout compasses built right into the walls of the Hawksbill lookout and those were just so interesting to me. Um, that was worth it alone and uh, now I'm gonna go have some dinner and hopefully enjoy a bit of a campfire back at Big Meadows tonight before I prepare for backpacking tomorrow. So I'm parked up at the Riprap trailhead and uh, I've decided I'm not going to actually do the full loop. I'm probably just going to hike two miles into where the camping area is near the stream and uh, tomorrow morning I'll just head back out. It's supposed to be kind of cold so um, I'm packing as much clothing as I can and I'm hoping that it should be enough. home for the night. <clears throat> the tent is all the way over there because I'm going to have my little dinner now and uh, then hang the food bag from the branch above me. 
I don't think I'm gonna end up actually properly cooking tonight. Um, I really just had ramen, which I would have boiled water for. Um, I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow morning uh, for some hot chocolate. But once I'm done with my little dinner, I'm gonna go back in the tent and get nice and cozy. Oh, she's kind of flat. Flat Stanley, flat Sandy. Oh no. I guess I don't want to like gloss over anything or like lie to you. It is moments like these where I feel kind of like just like anxious and alone. I mean, obviously I'm in the middle of the fucking woods, so I know I'll be okay. And there are little moments that are worth it. And, um, and I'm not very far from the wildcat trailhead. Um, and between you and me, I think tomorrow I am just going to hike back up to the wildcat trailhead and then just like walk along Skyline Drive back to the van. Um, because it is just all uphill um, <laughs> on the way back. So, um, anyways, dinner's almost over. So, um, I guess I'll get ready for bed. The sun has not even gone down yet, but I fully intend on not moving from this spot until tomorrow morning. <laughs> Whenever I get tired or it gets too cold, I will cocoon myself in my sleeping bag. Well, the sun is fully down now, um, and um, I'm kind of not anxious anymore. I feel really comfortable right now, and um, it is getting colder, hence the hat, so I'm um, going to finish my book, and then I think go to bed. Good night. Normally, I wouldn't have done any like cooking near the tent like that, but um, I was just boiling water for hot chocolate and it's in this sealed container. Last night wasn't too bad. I did keep sliding down the tent a bit because of the slight incline that I'm on, but otherwise it was pretty cozy and not super cold. So uh, after I finish, I think I'm gonna pack up and head back to the van. The sun finally came out, just in time for me to leave, but um, I don't mind, so it'll be a nice hike back at least. Made it to the main road. Um, it's pretty quiet, so that's nice, and uh, hopefully I'll be back to the van pretty soon. Even though things didn't go exactly according to plan, I feel like my time here in Shenandoah was a success and I got to do everything I wanted to do and it feels like planning really worked out for me. 
So I just hope that everything continues to go relatively according to plan.